Welcome back to this video series on JavaScript. This is the fifth video series about implicit coercion in JavaScript and it's lesson 2.5. These are the apps and folders that should be running at the background while the lesson is at hand. We're still using the same file, implicit underscore coercion dot html file and we'll open this in sublime text editor. Our main topic is JavaScript variables and objects, lesson 2.5, implicit coercion in JavaScript. At the end of this lesson, we'll be able to discover how JavaScript automatically converts variable types for us. This can make learning easier, but it also can cause unexpected issues. Okay, let's take a look in this part here. We stop here last session and so we'll continue coding from this point onwards. Now we're gonna add a pretty cool thing. Let's say for example var add adds ms equals confirm should they get those students. So adds ms is to equal confirm should they get those students. If the user presses OK, then adds ms will be true. If the user presses cancel, adds ms will be false. Should they get those students? Let's say OK. Now adds ms is true, but we're not doing with the hang of it. So one thing that we can do this is add something and let's say for example var total equals hs plus ms so that's encircled in red and over here we'll use total encircled in red and this adds ms here we can actually multiply by adds ms, the one encircled in red, and we can even add a parenthesis, even the order reparations will protect us, and certainly makes it more readable. Now, what's going on here? We're taking a number and we're multiplying it by a boolean, well, it turns out when we do that, JavaScript will coerce this boolean, the adds ms, into a number. Specifically, if it's true, the number will be 1. And if it's false, the number will be 0. So, if adds ms is true, we'll get ms times 1. And adding that, to the hs. If adds ms is 0, ms times 0 is 0 and hs gets 0 added to it. So let's test this out. So go ahead, save in the sublime text and refresh the browser. Let's say for example 300 and click OK. Should they get those students? And let's click OK. So in here we got 600. And if we refresh the browser and do it again, and this time we'll press cancel. Now it's only 300. So just to review, JavaScript will automatically coerce variables from one type to the other if we basically ask it to. And in order to avoid bugs, use the triple equals all the time. Never use double equals because then if there is an issue with the variable being the wrong type or unexpected type, we might not detect that issue. And lastly, we can convert strings and booleans to numbers simply by multiplying them by 1 
or by anything. We also use mathematical operations on variables. JavaScript will make the assumption that they should become numbers. And with the obvious usage of the plus sign, which is used for concatenation and mathematical addition. So we should be careful with that thing we're concatenating strings because it's very easy to run into problems. So that thus is for this lesson on implicit type coercion. So that's the last lesson for implicit type coercion in JavaScript and thank you for watching this video.